This is a dream from Codename Burbank. Fighter jets shooting, bombing. Giant tsunami. God's voice. Here we go. I'm reading this. I'm not telling it. I'm reading it because I want to keep the feeling that she had. I may change a few words here and there so it flows better because of the way I speak, but you know how that goes. Okay. Here we go. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. My name is Burbank, and I would like to share one of my dreams with all of you. This dream, I believe, was given to me by God as a warning. So without further delay, here we go. This dream takes place in a sunny day in a canyon, like a place like the Grand Canyon. I was with my family, and we were enjoying all the views and just talking about how beautiful it was that day and how our trip to this place had been so far. Well, out of the blue, fighter jets, like military planes, began firing at the people who were out there doing the same thing we were, just taking in the sights. Suddenly, the day began to get gloomy. Dark clouds, but just kind of like grayish clouds, not black. But that didn't stop the planes from shooting. In fact, they started dropping bombs on everyone. My family and I, thank God, we were not struck or harmed in any way. We were able to make it back to our vehicle and start driving out of the area as others did. Then I heard a loud boom from a distance coming from behind as we tried to escape. It also sounded like a rumbling coming in our direction. As I looked back over my shoulder, I could not believe my eyes coming at us with a tremendous speed. You won't believe it was a colossal body of water rushing at us at full force with such power I knew then, <laughs> at that moment, I had to get my family out of there. I pressed that throttle to the, I pressed the pedal to the metal, okay, as hard as I could. I could see the people screaming and, oh my goodness, trying to evade the catastrophic event of the water. And the water just began to envelop everyone around me. I heard a voice tell me, though, this is a trip. I All of a sudden, I hear a voice. And this voice told me not to worry. Wow. In all that chaos, <laughs> I knew at that second, this voice was the voice of God. And I was ever so willing to listen to his commands and obey. He told me to go alongside the mountain and park, get me and my family out. I wasn't sure about why he wanted to tell me to do that, but I obeyed. My family was so afraid, but they followed me and they obeyed too, okay? So he told me to climb up the mountain. Then he told me there was at the top a, a big house and to go inside and lock all the windows and doors. Well, we hurried up that mountain as fast as we could and did as he said. This house was big and beautiful. Ooh, I mean beautiful to my surprise. I told my family members to start gathering supplies, anything they could find that might be of use to us. Lock all the doors and windows as I myself started locking the windows. Then I peeped out of one of the windows. <laughs> and to much of my amazement, the water levels had risen to the level of the first floor of that house. We were on the third. I could see the terror in the eyes of the people outside as they tried to ride out the rushing waters below. One man almost made it to the window that I was looking out of, but then all of a sudden got swept away. I was full of mixed emotion at this time, and I just quickly closed the drapes. 
Then, as soon as the dream had begun, I woke up and it was over. <laughs> My friends, listen to this. This dream, I must tell you, seems so real that it took me half the day to truly realize it was only a dream. But nonetheless, I do believe with all my heart this was a warning from God. We must all adhere to his voice, saints. People, listen, we must all adhere to God's voice and obey when he gives us instruction to do whatever or not to do and not to obey can cost us our very lives. You hear me? Well, anyway, that's it. That was my dream. Peace. Wow. That was the dream from Burbank. Ooh, boy, that thing was loaded with emotion. But listen, I want you to know, we all, we're in a weird time. There are going to be tremendous blessings, but there are also going to be tremendous hardships and, and catastrophic craziness. We really don't want to experience that. So if you hear God or feel a nudging or whatever to all of a sudden make a move, or as they say in the streets, bust a move, bust it, baby. Listen to what God says and do it. Don't waste time trying to, to analyze it. Just do it. Please. Sometimes seconds can be of the essence, let alone time being of the essence. God bless you. And please, those of you who don't know God, please give your hearts to him. It's not about being a Bible thumper and sitting up in church paying them money. It's about knowing God. And yes, he can be known personally. He will manifest himself to you if you hunger for him. And he knows if you're hungry. God bless you. That's the safest place to be in the arms of God. And the best thing to have riding inside of you is the spirit of the living God and all the power that goes with it. God bless you.